Yo, this man right here, this ugly little man right here, he, he lied. Okay, he lied to y'all. He said we had the same birthdays, you know. That time we really honestly made things official. Nancy Money was not in a relationship when I was out having fun with Trey. Me and Kamani was not in a relationship. I'm about to show you the evidence. No smoking, bitch. What up, everyone? It's your boy, Martin Lewis. So, team real is red out here. So, I'm just waiting for my taxi so we can go eat a meal because I'm starving at the moment. I get some Chinese food. Oh damn, this light is making me look so caramel looking. A lot of you guys been saying that my skin looks blodgy. Martin, I love you, but your head is red and the rest of your body is caramel. And I was like, you're describing my d How do you know what my d look like? I don't feel like I look blodgy in real life. Well, I kind of look like an Oreo in real life. I'm milk chocolate in the middle and the side of my arms are black. It gets really awkward when people walk by looking at you and stuff when you're filming. And that's because of my tan, because the sun out, and you know, I cycle, or I ride a bicycle a lot, so, yeah, I get darker on the sides. I wish they'd let me w w drive around with my shirt off, but I'd get arrested and stuff. You guys probably use Uber. Over here, I use a thing called Grab. I'm pretty sure you guys have that in the United States. And I use Grab because it's like every time I catch an Uber here, I'm like, hello, they're like, hung my yang yang yang, and I'm like, Bitch, what you say? So, I always get grabbed because they seem to um, know a little bit of English, which is really good. While Uber drivers here, for some reason, not all of them, but the ones I always get, you know, they don't understand me and it's really hard and stuff. Nah, it's not that bad here. It's pretty simple. Like, oh, everyone is always asking, Martin, you're in Thailand. How you go around if you don't speak Thai? I was like, I just suck dick. There goes that sugar daddy rumor going around. Yeah. So apparently, I think this is him. I'm eating here tonight. Tonight. Oh, it's looking cute. Um. This is real lime, y'all. Mm-mm. Wow. This is good, man. You know what I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking to myself, thank God, man, I don't eat like Choice TV. He eats so nasty. <laughs> and you know what else I'm thinking? I'm thinking Daisha needs to give like a promotion of that bra thing she was using and give it to Kakian because he got some big titties. <laughs> Martin is your twin sister, Martina, okay? He lied to his own fans, are you kidding me, man? Does it look like a fake one? This is serious, okay? I look, I'm getting home, I left my meal, I even forgot to pay the bill, but it's okay. Because, you know, but I think a discount, but uh, I'm gonna go home right now and, and we're, we're gonna sort this out. I'm, uh, hurry up, okay? Laugh in the fast lane, we play our cards Pray and we'll find out just who we are Bitch, I've been the king of What up, everyone? It's your boy, Martin Lewis! It's your boy, Martin Lewis! Martin Lewis! Boy, Martin Lewis! Woo! What up, everyone? It's your boy, Martin Lewis. Sup, Team Real. Welcome to my channel where I call out fake ass bitches and talk about YouTube drama. Well, as you guys know, recently I uploaded a video talking about Ty and Fly and their little breakup that they had. And there was a lot of if she did that, I don't know her side of the story, blah, 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 blah. Well, Ty uploaded her video and that's why at the end of my video I put continue because I knew during the editing process 
she uploaded her video. So I was like, oh damn, I'm just gonna put it in so everyone knows I'm gonna continue it because I wanna hear her side. And in further looking into it and looking through Flight's videos, it turns out he was full of shit. Some of you guys said he's bipolar and stuff. I don't know. I haven't looked that deep into his life. I don't know if he is. I don't know if you guys are just trolls saying that. But a lot of you guys are saying it. It's good that we have Ty side because now we can look further. At the end of the day, this is my opinion. I wasn't in the house, I'm outside the house, just like you guys looking in through the windows or what they're presenting on social media. And by the way, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell, smash that like button, and I hope you guys like the new little thing I did because a lot of you guys have been messaging me saying, Martin, I wanna know what you do over there, blah, blah, blah. So I thought I'll squeeze a little bit in this drama video. Let me know if you like it, cause if you like it, I will continue doing stuff like that. Anyway, let's get straight into the drama. So we're just gonna jump straight into where he ties side. Let's roll it. Nobody got time to be sitting here worrying about petty shit, miserable shit, when you can be happy and move on with your life. Talk <laughs> See her face? With those eyelashes? You got something in your eye? You gotta admire the positiveness and that's, you know, that's the type of attitude you wanna have after breaking. Yeah, you can have your sad moments and, call and, and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, sometimes you have to move on with your life. So I hope you guys can grab a lesson in that of, you know, when your man do some corny ish or whatever, you know, you just gotta move on, be happy, don't dwell on it. Because I know some people that dwell on their ex boyfriends, they still talk about their ex boyfriends, they're still sad. It's like their boyfriend is a haunted spirit haunting them. She then dresses how he never really talked to her about how he was feeling. Talk to me about how he was feeling. He didn't discuss how I could have made him feel bad about himself. He never told me these things. When you're in a relationship, communication is key. You have to talk. You have to talk. Nobody is psychic. Nobody knows what how you're feeling inside if you don't say anything. I'm psychic. No, I'm just kidding. I like Ty is wearing the pants in the relationship, you know, because usually it's the man who says that. I'm not psychic. You expect me to know why you upset 24-7. According to her, he never expressed how she he was feeling. And that's something that I feel he probably didn't do. Looks like Flight has been playing the perfect victim throughout his videos. I'm not saying none of it is true. But this part he surely did lie about. Roll it. Now my birthday comes up. Uh, all just said we have the same birthdays, you know. That time we really honestly made things official. We had posted up on uh, IG was like Lucky 7. And we were just pretty much official like from then on out. Nancy Money was not in a relationship when I was out having fun with Trey. Me and Kamani was not in a relationship. Picture that me and Kamani took when I was on his back. That was the day of our birthday. And that was the first day we ever hung out. So how was we in a relationship? We wasn't in a relationship. Remember when I said this? This is when it confuses me. Because he's saying he got official in August. Lucky seven, right? But then on September, he posted a video called Should I Give Her a Chance? This kind of proves that he lied. Because why would you make a video saying... Oh, should I give her a chance if you official? This tells me what Ty is saying is accurate. Again, unless this whole thing is fake for some money, for some views, so they can buy some Chinese food. Things broke out. Kamani got upset because he just didn't want to go. He felt like he just felt like it was red flags that he shouldn't talk to me. But I just didn't understand how when he told me from his mouth the day that we hung out that he's talking to other people. So I'm not just finna sit here and be loyal, not talk to nobody, be like, I'm not finna do that. When you're telling me, he told me out his own mouth that he was talking to other people. And this seems very accurate as well. I have more receipts that prove that he was talking to other girls during this time. As you guys know, he made a video called, She Messaged My Ex. 
boyfriend and girlfriend reading each other's Instagram DMs gone wrong. He even said himself, You see the date? We were nowhere near talking. Now let's look at it. It started in December the 12th, okay? 2016. He's like, all you need to be focused on my why DF, you even letting basic and strip off all your happiness. Uh, I don't know. Is he, is he speaking English? NGL, this one had me weak. I don't know, it must be a naughty picture she posted. And she's like, I bet it did. Around August the 26th, okay? Keep that in mind. August the 26th. When's their birthday? Now my birthday comes up, uh, August 7th. We have the same birthdays, you know? We share the same birthdays. On the 7th of August. How are you gonna say, flight that you're exclusive with her if you DMing another girl on 2060 August? See, around the 26th August, he put the sad face and the wet emoji. It looked like, I think that's a sick emoji. You fake. F you damn. Joking, but you stop being mean with a kiss and a love of her heart. That's flirty, bro. So this basically confirms Ty's story. And Flight has actually been lying to you guys. Or he thought they were exclusive and he was cheating on her. Well, emotionally anyway, and talking to another girl. Okay, you guys may turn around and go, oh well Martin, Flight did that. Flight did that to her because he saw her dancing on Trey or whatever. Again, well, we got to go back to that video where he talked about giving her a chance because in that video, he was saying, uh, Ever since I met her, she's just been so, like, good to me. You know what I'm saying? In terms of just, like, caring, trust, all of the above that you kind of look for in a lady. And I feel like, in my opinion, like, she just deserves that type of treatment back. If he was exclusive with her, right, and then she was doing that with Trey, why would he say that about her? That proves that they weren't exclusive. And it, it makes me feel that Flight lied purposely to try to make Ty look bad. It really did, because why would you go on camera and go, oh, she a good girl, she, are you desperate for love, or were you using her? Like, what's the story? I'm just telling you, whatever Fly has going on is very sus. He look fake as hell. Ty then explains how she went to her house to talk to him, and it looks like he lied about that situation as well. Roll it. We talked it out, and we decided to come to an agreement to where we're going to make things work and figure out and, w and help each other work on what we're gonna work on. We are just friends. Me and her are just friends, bro. I cannot wife somebody, I cannot be in a relationship with somebody that's gonna entertain another dude. We're gonna make things work and figure out. At this point, I can't help but to feel that maybe she is right, only because he hasn't been honest about their exclusiveness and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Because it was like, it doesn't make sense. I do feel that Fly is lying and try to portray to be this poor little victim when really he's not. He said, don't post nothing on social media about us. So it started to make me feel like, so you put on this big ass front, you did all of this shit over social media. So now you gonna feel stupid that you have to keep that same energy. You have to back up all the shit that you said. He didn't want y'all to know that we worked things out. He lied and said we didn't. Well, we did. At the end of the video, she gave some really good advice, which I even spoke about in my previous video about rushing into relationships. This is what she had to say. Really messed up, me and Kamani's relationship, is that be friends first. Like, we didn't get to know each other. Like, we just rushed into a relationship. We rushed everything. Everything was too fast. Like, me and Kamani only been talking for seven months. And within that seven months, we only talked to each other for a couple weeks. And then next thing you know, we were in a relationship. That's something a lot of people can take home and learn from. A lot of people out there are rushing into these relationships, desperate for affection and attention, desperate to be in a relationship. And it ends up screwing them up in the long time because they didn't take the time to get to know this person. And they basically wasted, what, seven months with someone and it... You know what I'm saying? You wasted your time, your vagina, your bum 
hole. All I'm saying is that they could have saved a lot more time, but I'm sure they made money together, so not really a waste of time. My conclusion to all this is that I don't think Fly has been completely honest with you guys. The story that he has given to you does not match the other videos which I've showed you guys, like him giving him a chance. He said he was exclusive on her birthday, but yet he was talking to another girl, and he also had a video within September talking about giving her a chance, which just shows that He's either full of shit or he's got bad memory or something. You can pick and choose what it is or maybe they're both faking it. I don't know. But what do you guys think? I want to know in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, I know I'm your guilty pleasure. So make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell. Smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in another drama video.